Okay, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a rotating propeller. When it's done, it's going to look kind of like this. Kind of like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, first we're going to define the center x and center y coordinates. So 200, 200 is the middle of the screen. Okay, so now we're going to need a, we're, we have an animation. When we need an animation, we're always going to need a draw function. So let's put in a draw function. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a new feature called translate. What translate does is it moves the moves the center of the screen to um, uh, moves the start point to another point in the screen, right? So this right now is zero zero. Let's just show you what this looks like, right? If I put a uh, oh, let's I'm going to put in one more variable. I'm going to put diameter, which is how big around. We're going to make a, a center of the propeller, so that's how big around it is. So right now I'm going to start. I'm going to do this. I'll do ellipse. 0 comma 0 comma diameter comma diameter now 0 0 right is the upper right hand corner of the screen right so I'm in upper left hand so that's down here uh, let's make this a little more interesting let's give it a fill uh, I'm gonna make this uh, the center yellow how about so now we have a right up here it starts at 0 0 that starts at the center of the screen now I'm going to show you what the translate feature does so I'm going to type translate and I'm going to do center x comma center y now it's probably not going to work quite right when I first do it I'm going to put this in here and you see it moves the circle to the middle so 0 0 which was up here now becomes down there now you might be wondering what are these two circles doing there um, the translate is a little bit buggy, and so we have to kind of jiggle it sometimes. So whenever that it doesn't draw the right thing, I just kind of move this center x around a little bit, or I can redraw it, and it'll um, uh, it'll uh, move the thing. It's it. Don't worry, this is going to go away. It, it's not supposed to be there. That's actually a literal bug, uh, not in my programming, but in um, Khan Academy. Uh, I can get rid of that part by just putting in a background. Um, so let's make a background red. We don't want red. Let's do um, uh, light blue. So a light blue, we can do a uh, lot of um, green and uh, I mean a, uh, an even more bl uh, blue. So that's how we have a light blue. Um, and so now if I jiggle this, it'll move my thing to the middle. That's where it's supposed to be, right? So every now and then you're going to see this. Um, to fix the um, this is jiggle, so I need every now and then, if you don't see your thing in the right place, just go up here and jiggle the center x to fix the center translate bug in Khan Academy. You notice if I move this, right, it's just moving where the center of the screen is, right? And so the center of the screen, remember our uh, ellipse actually starts from 0, 0. So 0, 0 is right here right now, at about 200, 200, which is, uh, and that's because of the translate. So what this does is this moves uh, the zero zero point right that's what this it moves the zero zero point okay so now we're going to want to uh make a propeller blade right um so let's just mark right here what this is now we really want the propeller blade to be sort of under because we want it to seem like it's sticking out from here so i'm actually going to draw the propeller blade the per first propeller blade uh before the um, uh, the center right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another ellipse um, but it's, this one's not gonna be a circle right so uh, and what we're gonna do we're gonna start from the diameter which is the distance out that's gonna be the center um, that's gonna be the X right so that's gonna be the diameter which is about 50 out um, the Y we're not remember so we want it to be here right now that Y zero is right here so diameter zero um, and then what we'll do, we want it to be a bit twice about, let's make it about twice the diameter. So I'll say diameter times two. 
that's going to be the width of it, and the height is going to be the diameter divided by 2. And again, I'm going to jiggle this so we can actually see our propeller blade. Uh, let's make the propellers a different color so we can make the propeller blades red. That would be fine. Okay, so we have one propeller blade. Now, what we, we, we need to do is we need to draw four more, right? Now, we might be thinking, you know, what, what X and Y do I have to do to make that? Well, we actually don't have to do that because I'm going to teach you another awesome new feature, which is the rotate feature. So what this does, I'm going to type 90. 90 degrees, right, is uh, 90 degrees is a right angle, right? So what this does is, um, I'm going to jiggle this again just because, all right, to fix the bug, okay? So 90 degrees, right? So what's going to happen is... Uh, now everything I draw is going to be rotated exactly 90 degrees right from where it was before right so watch what this does I can actually just copy this ellipse right I'm going to copy this ellipse and I'm going to draw the exact same thing and what's going to happen well notice it's going to come down here it's actually drawing the exact same ellipse and then turning it by 90 degrees right and so what's happening right is it's it's now 90, the, the, so now what's happened, right, the center is now of the uh, grid is now moved to the middle of the screen, and also the whole grid is turned 90 degrees while I'm drawing. Not for the stuff that I already drew, only for the stuff that I'm drawing now. Of course, the circle is rotating too, but it doesn't matter because it's a circle, so a circle, no matter how much you turn it, it's still going to be a circle. Okay, so now what I can do is I can just copy these two, And now what's happened, right? So what this does, right? This first one is rotates right 90 degrees from the original how it was original, right? Now what this does is it rotates another 90 degrees, right? To 180 degrees. So what happened is this one rotates 90 degrees, and it's going to stay that way. It's going to stay rotated until I change it. So now I'm going to turn it again. I'm going to rotate another 90 degrees, right? So it gives me 180 degrees. So now you might guess uh, we can just copy this and do a third one. Now, for those of you who know about using loops, you might be thinking, well, this is a little bit sloppy, right? This is a little bit sloppy because uh, you could just uh, use a loop to do this. And I'm going to let you yourself uh, figure out how to uh, make my code a lot cleaner using a loop. You should very easily be able to, with a little, um, using a loop here, you should be able to put all of this in a single loop. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to keep things as simple as possible, right? So this is going to be the first prop blade. This one here is going to be the second. This one here is going to be the third. And this one here is going to be the fourth. Okay, so now we have four prop blades. All right, that's fine. That's pretty cool, but it doesn't spin. So how are we going to make it spin? Well, remember, this is the draw function, right? So it's not just drawing it once. It's drawing the same shape over and over and over and over again. All right, that's how the draw function works. Remember, if you use, uh, uh, if you use Scratch, uh, this is exactly like the forever loop. So it's actually drawing this thing not just once, but again and again and again. So that means if I can uh, change a variable, make some, some thing in here a variable and make it change, then I can uh, make some animation, right? So what is changing? Well, what's really changing is the amount of rotation, right? So what I can do is I can say, um, I'm going to say bear um, r equals zero, right? So that's going to be the amount of rotation, right? Um, and then what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to want to do it after the translate, not before. It's very important that I do this after the translate because it rotates around the center point. If I do it before the center, the translate is going to rotate around the uh, up here, the upper left-hand corner. We want it to rotate it. So make sure you do this after the translate, and I'm going to do rotate R. Okay, and again, that's uh, that's just the bug. We're still in the center, still not moving, right? We're still not moving, and that's because um, R is just staying at zero. It's not changing, right? So, but 
that's pretty easy to fix. You should, I'll bet you can guess, see if you can guess what to do now. What I'm going to do down here is I'm going to go down and I'm going to do r plus equals 1. And notice it's turning and the bug is moving to the wrong place. Now we have a propeller that's turning. That might be a little bit slow to you, right? So what we can do is we can change this number to spin faster. So r plus equals 1. Let's move it a little faster. 2, 3, 4. Now our propeller is moving pretty fast. Now we can speed it up and slow it down. Now, uh, hopefully you can see some ways to make my code a lot cleaner and a lot prettier. Uh, for one thing, uh, this part in here could all be done with a loop. And in fact, your uh, part that if you really want to get fancy, the part that actually draws the propeller could be put in a separate function. I'm not going to show you how to do that right now, um, but this is how you can make an object in Khan Academy Processing JS that spins. Thank you.